Um, you want to walk a little slower? Goddamn, man, we're on the clock here. <laughs> what though about this show? They are not afraid to change up character dynamics. I love Karapika. I love the aura. I guess they're never coming back. I mean, it's been fucking 40 episodes, maybe 50 since uh, they were even on here at all. And before that, there was also another break, right? And so out of the 103 episodes, I guess it's 102 right here. Out of 102 episodes, they've been in less than half. So pff, get attached to them early and then they fuck off. And we, we don't see them much. And now they've broken up the dream team. The dynamic duo. Gon and Killua. Gon's got his new buddy. Killua's got a new buddy. It seems like this is going to be a pretty long arc where they're not together. So I think that's interesting. Because there's only so much two characters can do. Like this this changes dynamic. People might actually start getting tired. It's like, ah, oh, you know, it's, I, mean, I enjoy it. Like, you know, me with the last five seasons of uh, Supernatural. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't appointment TV. It was always a thing. There would always be three or four stacked up because I would, and then I would get around to watch them because there was other shit I wanted to see more because they, that it was just the two of them or maybe every, every now and then it'd be three of them with cast, right? You know, and they just, they kill everybody else off. So, you know, there's nobody else to change the dynamic. So you just get tired of it. You get tired of Dean and Sam together talking to each other. There's nothing left you can do with those two characters. And so this show got ahead of that. I wasn't tired. It never crossed my mind to be tired of it. But before I could get tired of it, they changed it up. Now, maybe you know, they may be back together this episode. I don't know. But it doesn't seem like it's going that direction. They now both have a scene partner. And that's how you know when a show is going to do something like this. If a show separates a dynamic duo and they don't have scene partners, they're getting back together really quick. Because the show, you know, they haven't bothered to put together, uh, uh, maybe maybe you, you'll have a one-off character. But if you have a character that's a scene partner with one of the dynamic duo for multiple episodes in a row, they're keeping them apart for a while. Because you have to have somebody to talk to in these, in, on TV. You know, unless you're going to do narration, which, shh, Jesus Christ, we don't want that. So... That's how I know. They, they have invested the time and energy in establishing two different characters, one for each of them, for them to have, talk to, have conversations with, bounce off each other, introduce a new diamond, dynamic. Interestingly, both of them are ants. They're, you know, I'm racist towards ants. I hate all ants. I want them all to die, and like they're now subverting that because some of these ants are good. This is the third ant now, if you count Colt. There are now three ants that have betrayed... You know, their own kind. Race traders, I guess we call them. Judas goats. Three of them. It'll be interesting to follow this along. This intro is starting to get too long, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, but that's what I'm thinking about. You know, like, they're, they're mixing it up with the two main characters and their subverting their expectations and mixing it up so you can't be racist towards all aliens. So, you know, I just think that's great writing. All right, this is uh, episode 27 of season 5, or it's uh, episode 102. Power and games. Eh, I got no jokes there, so let's just do this. <laughs> We're going on one. Three, two, one. You are good for nothing. Especially your eyebrows. Yeah, I lied. If you hadn't said we could be friends, I would let you die like a dog you are. <laughs> I'm going to save you so fucking hard. <laughs> I'm going to save you if it's the last thing you do. <laughs> He's just so fucking aggressive. That's what I'm making fun of. It's like, dude, it's not that serious. Well, you know, death is pretty serious, but you know what I'm saying. It's not that dramatic, I should say. Well, you know, death is actually pretty dramatic. Damn, that music's loud. I don't change the volume between episodes. I don't know what's happening with this shit.
We need an old man and the other people. We need these motherfuckers to get off the bench and start killing some more ants. I guess I'm still racist towards ants because fuck them. They got to go. I guess a few of them could live. Jesus, what the hell is this thumbnail? I'm dying. So this is going to be a go centric episode. Are you smoking? Dude, are you serious? Is he hitting a blunt right now? He is. Dude, this is some great gunge, man. You ever notice the stars are closer when you're high? <laughs> Oh, I just got it. He's a chameleon. I become invulnerable. Zip. <laughs> I shouldn't do that with kids. He goes a kid. I shouldn't do that. Oh, shit. This is bullshit. Just start swinging, swinging haymakers every direction. Teleportation. The air would close in, wouldn't it? That would make a sound. <laughs> What's with the crown? <laughs> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <laughs> What if they swing at haymakers? Oh, shit. Damn, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, you broke my jaw, man. It really hurt. That's oddly specific, Ryder. What kind of trauma are you holding on to here, Ryder? Yeah, I still don't trust this motherfucker. Yeah, that's the ticket. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, I'm dubious. Yeah, if we can't start that, there won't be nothing. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Well, Gone may trust him, and he probably will. He probably already does, right? I don't trust him. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> this is the second time he's lost his shit. Calm the fuck down, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, what's the ticket? This motherfucker's kind of self-loathing, isn't he? <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> There's some very specific, there's some very specific trauma in this episode. These writers going through something, man. Are you okay, writer? Are you okay? We're here for you, man. <laughs> These buffers just like lose their shit at the drop of a dime, man. Why are you so obsessed with my buddy, motherfucker? I, I can't stand people like this, man. I mean, he's entertaining as hell as a character, right? But in real life, people like be waffling back and forth and shit, man. Pff, you're out of here. Oh, shit. I like the dramatic pause there. And he lowered his voice an octave. <laughs> 
goddamn right. He killed the queen. Did you take the two graves? That's all I want to know. <laughs> so you're playing him, huh, Goan? <laughs> Dude, this dude's nuts, man. Like I said, distinct characters. We haven't had this kind of a character here before. This is a 250th distinct character, right? We haven't had this, man. That was pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty high back then. I was trash, man. That right there. I was high. See that right there? Um, you don't have to go this deep, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. This motherfucker contradicts himself a lot. Like, a lot, man. I've never eaten cake. But I've had some cake sometimes, man. Ice cream cake's great, even though I've never had ice cream. <laughs> so you're telling me he was a nerd! <laughs> Nothing of the host remains, motherfucker. Do you? You're crazy. I like that. I don't know about that. He's awfully green and taily to be human. You take that back. This is not good. Maybe uh, Ghost could be the one to turn evil. I've been saying kill him all this time, right? Ew. Why is your hand wet? Yeah, the ability to control people I touch. Mind control. Dumbass. How many fucking abilities you got, motherfucker? God damn. He just got this motherfucker. Um, are we married now? Um, you're holding my hand, Chuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, I'm not smoking your joint, dude. Did he freeze time? Damn. Not even when I stick my tongue up its butt. Boy, that's an arrogant ass name. God's accomplice. You're God's accomplice, which makes me arrogant ass motherfucker. Tell you what, that is pretty goddamn powerful. <laughs> Get your fists out of my face, bitch. I don't know, man. He's pretty powerful. That tail is a motherfucker, man. That tail is a lot to deal with. I don't know, man. Even if he's not, like, evil, he's going to get going killed. <laughs> I don't know, man. That motherfucker, that king scares me.
Yep, I, they were just lambs to the slaughter. Yeah, they were dicks. How dare they? Plus, I made fun of my weed, man. Yeah, you suck. So let's let's not do this. I choo choo choose you. Because I'll be too high to worry about it. That's too complicated, man. No. Dude, like, you're throwing away these, these fucking blunts. There's like this much left on each one of them. You wasteful motherfucker. Right. They be throwing haymakers, man. That's what the fuck they be doing. Goddamn right. Somebody's getting fucked up. I'm, yeah, not really surprised. Right, right. Right, so you ain't telling nobody. I choo choo choose you. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. You're too fucking loud. I don't trust you. Yeah, you two kids are fucking up. Sounds like a plan. Well, those are the worst ones, man. You know, I said I'm so happy about it. Yeah, he's ready to fuck him up, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do we want to live or die? That's the question. Whatever. Well, I mean, we're just on a timeout. We're on a break. Damn it, he left me on raid. That's right, smoking on the blood. You know, if you wouldn't stop, if you stopped throwing them way halfway done, you wouldn't have to keep lighting a new one. That sounds made up. 
Yeah, this is all bullshit. I trust you or nothing. <laughs> you got any Cheetos? <laughs> they got trees halfway up that building. That's pretty impressive. Well, that's not very nice. Um, because you're going to kill me if I lose? Because I'm stubborn. Yeah, that's the whole point of chess. You sit there and wait till they make a mistake. I don't hear an answer, motherfucker. <laughs> Dick. By the way, that's a weird chessboard. <laughs> Are we going to actually use the correct pieces this time? Because that didn't look like chess pieces. Go is fascinating. Never even heard of Shogi. Wait a minute, this is just Marmaduke. These aren't game rules. Ow. Jesus. Yeah, but you broke my glasses, asshole. Uh, I think it's an and. I don't think it's an or. So it means you, you won nine games, right? Yeah. I won nine games. You won one, motherfucker. I'm walking out of here. <laughs> well, that means you gotta get some hookers in here. That's how I rest, motherfucker. That's right. Kiss that ass. Kiss that ass. The fuck is Shogi? I'm gonna look this shit up. I like the villains who are obsessed with games. It's just it, because I'm obsessed with games. I love games. Except for Bingo, oddly. How droll. Why are you smashing pieces, motherfucker? Bingo. Oh. Never heard of that one either. It's probably something they made up for the show. There are no rules. Yep, it's definitely made up. Hmm. It's like uh, the Star Trek chess, right? Yeah, it's definitely they made it up for the show. Eh, sorry, it's a busy signal. Uh, 
Um, you want to walk a little slower? Goddamn, man. We're on the clock here. And he's just bullshit, apparently. She needs to tweeze those eyebrows. I know that's right. It's a weird ass cliffhanger. <laughs> cliffhanger. Will she win the, the fucking game we made up? Who knows? Shogi says this shit. It's called uh, Japanese chess. And the pieces look like what they were using. So when he said chess, he must have met Shogi. You know. Because this looks like those pieces that, that he was calling chess, right? It actually sounds like an interesting game. We're going to have to look into this. See if there's some kind of like online form it takes, right? Uh, let me look at the other one they were talking about. Okay, I looked up Gunji. Yeah, it's it's made up for the show. Interesting. Why would he use a made up game? I guess so he could control every aspect. Uh, Takashi, I think the guy's name is. The one who invented all the, the genius behind this thing. Because goddamn, this motherfucker is a genius. Like just the sheer fountain of creativity gushing out of this motherfucker. Man, it's just unbelievable. I don't know how true this is. I, it's, I assume it's very true. Which means all this comes from him. Which means he's a bad motherfucker. But somebody who's this much of a creative genius would want to control every aspect of everything, right? So they would make up a game because that way the rules can fit the themes that they're working with, right? You know, I was looking at Shogi and they were talking about it. It's like you could return pieces and if you capture a piece, you could return it to a board on your side because that reflects like mercenaries who would change uh, loyalties in the middle of a battle, right? Like, that's fucking cool. That's really cool. That, and if that was your theme... Which it kind of is, if you think about it. Like, we've had people change their loyalties in the, the, that very episode. So, thematically, you'd want to invent a game that's going to represent whatever your theme is, right? If that tends to be a betrayal, you know, whatever. Like, you, if, it, if betrayal, maybe sometimes when you order a piece to do something, they refuse to do it. So, that would have been your winning move, but the piece refused to do it. Like, if you roll a dice and, okay, well, if it's a 10, he refuses, right? So, then, you, you know, you don't win, right? If that's what you would make that one of the rules, if betrayal is your, you know, random betrayal is uh, one of your themes in the story, right? So, you know what I mean? So, he sounds like somebody who would invent some shit just to fit in the fucking theme of the story. So, that's the kind of guy he sounds like. So, makes sense. 